complaints about increased hospitalizations have not deterred some people from opposing Erie County's pandemic orders. With a mask mandate back in place, Channel 2's Rob Hackford reports one local group is set now to make their opposition even more public. Rob, what's this about? Yeah, Scott and Mariella, some big plans coming up for the week ahead. The group made up of Erie County business owners, parents and local leaders who have criticized Erie County's recent approach to the pandemic are calling themselves pro family activists and planning a week of civil disobedience in protest. This is no different than when the women marched for suffrage in, in the early 1900s. It's no different when Rosa Parks said, no, I'm not getting off the bus. Robbie De Niro is no stranger to challenging Erie County and state COVID mandates. He did so last year on several occasions with his gym athletes unleashed and won. But this coming week, the focus is parent groups opposed to new pandemic orders. Our goal is to bring them into one functional group so that our efforts can be unified in getting rid of the mandates and allowing for parent choice to raise and take care of their kids the way they see fit. This is civil disobedience in, in many ways, but it's also just a, a way of non-compliance, right? We are asking people to take a stand against the mandates that are making absolutely no sense um, and that have been affecting us for quite some time. That's co-organizer Gina Gentry, who laid out the week ahead, starting Monday with a march in Niagara Square, followed by a walkout at schools across Erie County Thursday, and then the encouragement of kids to take off their masks in schools after the Pledge of Allegiance next Friday. A plan to which a spokesperson for the Erie County Executive Office sent this statement for. Case numbers are hitting record highs, hospitals are brimming and diverting patients, and a new variant is on the way. People should get vaccinated, get boosted when they can, and care about other people by wearing a mask to protect themselves and others, end quote. I, I really hope the conversation more comes around the, the fact of that we as people um, need to be able to live our lives, make the choices that we want to make, and that we're not going to stop a virus from, from spreading. Leaders need to talk about other plans to put in place um, for things like this where it's not government overreach. Gentry used Niagara County as one example where a mask mandate is not in place. Adjusted for population, both Niagara and Erie County saw a similar number of new COVID cases Wednesday. A load that health departments and hospitals say is causing a lot of strain. Where the state stands is... We're encouraging indoor mask use for sure. That is another way that people can have that extra layer of protection. But again, the boosters and the vaccination are the primary way to protect themselves. In Buffalo, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.